Hey guys, wanted to show you how I actually did the vacuum seal my 10 ounce bar. Okay, what I use when I bought this, it was come with this uh, ziplock bag, but I don't like this kind of ziplock bag for my cast bar. That's why I wanted to actually seal them up, vacuum seal. This is actually a sleeve for for food products, so I guess it is also recommended for silver bars. Okay, for silver bars. Okay, for for this food sleeve, right? There's two two side of it. So one side is with a lot of dotted dotted surface, and the other side over here is actually quite smooth and then quite transparent if i put my cast bar with this it might not be very visible what i want is to actually see my silver bar you see it's like being mosaic away i can't really see it very clear but if i use the other side it is actually more clearer to actually view your your silver silver bars Okay, so what I do, I actually cut away the dotted surface and then dispose them. I, I'm not using them anymore. So on the smoother surface area, this sheet of uh, plastic sheets, I actually cut it off. And then there's, there's two, two sides. Okay, you cannot use the other way around. Okay, so just now this is the inner part. This is the outer layer. Inner inner outer so i'm going to place my cast bar in between okay and then i will vacuum seal them so first i will need to seal out the edges i need to seal out the edges So it becomes like this. So I'll vacuum seal and then create like a pocket. Slot it in, vacuum seal, and it's all done. Okay, so this is the the sleeve that I have done. So between the left and right side should be about 4.5 cm and then you'll get the bar in very snug tight. Okay, so it will be quite tight, tight, and then it's actually quite easy to slot in. Okay, then after that, I just need to vacuum seal it. Okay. So be careful not to, because my machine is symbol, I think it should be made in China. So be careful for this, this uh, sharp edges. Don't rub against your bar. Okay. So just a little bit. Okay. Then I'll close the lid. Okay. It'll be a bit loud. So I just close the lid. Let it suck. Okay. All done. Okay. So on the edges. Okay, I can actually cut to a round shape. Okay. So it will be nice to the touch. Okay. Okay. Actually I have a angle cutter. I actually have an angle cutter. Uh suppose I should actually cut it first. But I forgot the uh. So no choice. Okay, so over here is actually quite high. So what I do, this area quite quite big. Uh, so what I do, I use another hot seal to seal the the rest of the area. Okay, so this is the very common hot seal. Hot sealer. 
okay that i've used for some of my things so and then this is slimmer so you can get a shorter area okay just now that piece i cut away should be this one okay so i cut the i hot seal and then i cut off the edges okay so this is the end result okay so it's hot seal it's vacuum seal totally vacuum seal okay all vacuum okay here's the royal canadian bar 10 ounce bar the problem with the sleeve is that it's easily torn off you can see here okay so what i did for one of my bar is to actually did the same thing to seal them up airtight okay so if you have issues with the original sleeve on the Canadian bar, so this will be the way to go. So this is the Harrius bar. Okay. And this is the original sleeve for the Royal Canadian bar. So I'll replace them. Okay, that's all. Thank you.